Hello everybody, Jennifer Maker here. It's a beautiful day to get your gifts in order because the holidays will be here before we know it. And that doesn't just mean the presents themselves. It means gift wrap, bows, and yes, gift tags. These aren't your average tags though. They have a really neat feature to prevent peaking. I think they are so cool and I bet you will too. Everybody likes a little mystery, right? Wrapping paper and bags hide the gift inside, but I think it's extra fun to keep the to and from a secret too. These cute tags are designed so you can't tell who they're for or from until you pull the strip. How fun is that? Now, whether you're keeping your secret Santa present under wraps or preventing prying eyes at home, there's no more peeking with these gift tags. We made some sneaky gift tags like these before. I've got them sitting right over here, but I heard you wanted some new designs to make this year. So I'm back with another collection of awesome pool tab gift tags. If you haven't made the other tags, there are lots and lots of really cute options. I have links to the previous two gift tag sets in my blog post at jennifermaker.com slash 560. Now, just like my earlier tags, these are really easy to make and so cute. You can hand write your messages, but I'll also show you how to use your Cricut to write your to's and from's using a fine point pen and registration symbols that I added to the designs. I'm using 12 by 12 inch cardstock, 65 pound, in several different colors and types. We've got glitter, foil, and other specialty cardstocks. Now they are a little different to work with, but I'll show you how to use them in this video too. And now the number of sheets that of cardstock you need depends on the number of gift tags you're making. You can get several tags out of just one sheet of cardstock though. And I've got a trick to save even more materials that I'll show you later in this video. You can cut your cardstock by hand, of course, but it's much easier with a cutting machine like a Cricut. I'm using the Cricut Maker 3, but you can also use the original Maker, any of the Cricut Explore series, the Cricut Venture, and the Cricut Joy Extra. Now you'll need a green standard grip machine mat, as well as the usual tools like a brayer and a scraper. And a weeding tool helps pop out little pieces too. And you might also like to have a paper trimmer to cut your cardstock, some craft glue to close up your gift tag. I'm using Barely Art Precision Craft Glue, which is my favorite, and then something to hang them on your gifts, like some twine. And that's pretty much it. I've got the whole list of tools and supplies, plus links on where to find them in my blog post at jennifermaker.com slash 560. And because everyone learns differently, you can also find written instructions there too. It has helpful tips and photos of the steps to get you going in the right direction. Now, I bet you want me to tear this tab open and show you how it works. I will, I promise, later on. But let's get started with how to make these really fun tags. Step one, get my free gift tag designs. First, download my designs at jennifermaker.com slash 560. You can either download them right from that link by saving the project or download from my entire free design collection. To find it, look for libraries in the red bar at the top, then click either get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. Search the page for design number 560 and click the link to download the designs. Unzip the folder, and inside you'll find a PDF file for cutting by hand, as well as a DXF and SVG file for use with the cutting machine. I'll show you how to cut and write your gift tags using a Cricut Maker 3 cutting machine, but you can of course use really any Cricut from the original Maker to the Cricut Joy Extra or another cutting machine that uses cut files. My collection has seven designs, so let's look at what we can do with each kind. I've also added some tips on the printable PDF, too. You can handwrite your messages within the L-shaped brackets after you cut them, or you can have your Cricut do it for you. The Emoji Face gift tag has a fun zipper opening and comes with an extra zipper tab piece and eyes to glue to the front. Your names will go between the symbols on the right side here. The cute layered rainbow tag has a simple white cloud for the message area. You can use fancy papers for the arches if you like. Again, your names will go between the symbols on the right side. 
The snowflake is another fun multi-layer design. Your names will go between the symbols on the right side here. On the Santa hat design, your names will go between the symbols on the flap that sticks out. Then you'll fold the whole Santa hat over to close it. It has a separate piece to attach to the front when it's closed. The heart and star tags work best when you cut them with glitter or foil cardstock, so the different color backing pops out from the cutouts. You can handwrite your text between the symbols on the solid half of the tag. The rectangular tag on the left is a nice simple design where your text goes on the right side. And the last rectangle tag is similar, except instead of writing a message inside, you insert a gift card. Step two, upload and personalize your pull tab gift tags. In Cricut Design Space on a blank canvas, click upload and then upload image. Click browse and find the SVG file. Click upload and then select the new design under recent uploads and click add to canvas. If you're not sure how to upload, go to jennifermaker.com slash SVGS to learn how to unzip and upload SVG files. Here's how the design looks on my canvas. Click the minus sign to zoom out and see everything. And with the entire collection selected, click the ungroup icon. Now select the designs that you don't want to make and delete them. Let's write on the emoji with our Cricut. So click on the text icon. Choose the font drop down arrow and find the writing font that you'll want to use. I'm going to click on system and use a writing font that I designed called JM Tall. But you can use any writing style typeface you'd like, of course. You can download JM Tall free from my resource library by searching for design number 542. And then click the X to close the font menu. With the text layer selected, click on the operation drop down menu at the top and choose pen. Then click the square next to the operation menu to pick your pen type and color. I'll leave mine set at fine point 0.4 millimeters and black. Now double click on the text layer and add your personalization. I'll type to Alexa, love mom. Since the space where the text goes is pretty small, I think it looks best if it's all on one line. Click anywhere on a blank area of the canvas to exit the editing mode. Click and drag the text layer over the gift tag that you want to make and zoom in to see better if you need to. Then select the text layer and click and drag the corner to resize the message. Now move the text so it's fully within the L marks on the gift tag. If the tag has multiple layers like this, select it in the layers panel and click the ungroup icon. Now hold your shift key and select the gift tag base and the text layer and click attach. The eyes and zipper pull may disappear behind the yellow tag, but don't worry. With the attached layer still selected, click Arrange and Send to Back. There, that looks right. If you're making multiple tags for the same lucky recipient, you can save time by selecting the text layer and clicking Duplicate. Keep in mind that the tabs are different sizes on certain gift tags, so you may need to resize the text to fit within the L-shaped boundaries. Be sure to ungroup the design if needed and then attach each text box to its base tag layer to be sure that it writes on the tag that you want. Now the green tag is a little different. It looks backward, but this way you can add Cricut writing to the inside on the right when you cut it. However, if you want to cut it out of one-sided decorative paper like foil or glitter, you'll want to select it and click the flip menu and choose flip horizontal. Now you can use decorative cardstock and simply write your message by hand on the paper's plain back once it's cut. I'll show you how later. I've got more gifts to wrap than just these three, so I'll select all of them and click duplicate so I have a total of six tags, two of each kind. Step three, prepare and cut your pull tab gift tag designs. When your tags are all prepared, make sure the correct machine is selected and click Make. On the Prepare screen, check to make sure that all of your text is attached to the gift tags. This is very important. 
My six gift tags are set to cut on six separate mats, but we can combine the ones using the same type of cardstock, even if they're different colors. <laughs> so I want to cut the emoji faces, their details, and the smallest rainbow pieces from regular 65 pound cardstock. So to do this, we're gonna drag a bounding box around the zipper pulls and both sets of eyes. In the left corner, three dots will appear. Click them and select Move Object. A pop-up will appear on your screen, prompting you to choose a mat for your objects. Select the yellow mat. Now the black pieces are on the yellow mat. That's weird, <laughs> they're yellow now, but that's okay, don't worry. I'm going to explain. Move the zipper pulls and both sets of eyes to the bottom right corner, as far away from the other pieces as possible. Leave space between the color groups to avoid any mistakes. That was easy. I'll show you how to prepare your mat correctly once we finish combining the other mats. Now let's take a look at the orange mat and the red mat. I'd like to cut both of these out of regular 65 pound colored cardstock as well. So let's combine them too. Remember to position color groups so there's as much space between them as possible. Then we've got our white mat, which I'll cut from plain white cardstock, and our green mat, which I'll cut from green glitter cardstock. Since these materials require different cut settings, we'll leave these mats separate. Now we've successfully combined six mats down to four, which saves us a little time and materials. The empty mats will still be visible, but don't worry, they won't be once we move to the next step. Now a very important note, if you did not combine mats, check that your material sizes are set correctly. But since I combined my mats, using up the whole 12 by 12 inch area, I'll keep my material size at 12 by 12 inches. Then click back on the first mat and click continue. I'll use plain white 65 pound cardstock for the rainbow's clouds, so I'll set my base material to medium cardstock with more pressure. And the cardstock to the green standard grip machine mat, and use your brayer to adhere it evenly. If you personalized your gift tag with writing, test your pen on a piece of scrap paper to be sure it's working well. Then insert the pen into the clamp as prompted. With your pen in place, load the mat into your Cricut so the papers match the objects on the screen and press the flash and go button to begin. When the cut is complete, unload the mat, flip your mat over onto your work surface and roll it back to release the cardstock without any ripping or tearing. Now be careful when removing the pulled tab piece so it doesn't tear away. To keep everything straight, set your pieces aside the same way as they were on the mat. Moving on to the orange mat, I'll use 65 pound red and orange cardstock for the rainbow pieces. So I'll set my base material to medium cardstock with more pressure. My orange shapes are within an eight by three inch section on the machine mat, so I'll cut a piece of cardstock that size. And then this goes in the top left area on my green standard grip machine mat. You can check your screen to help with positioning if you need it. Then I'll add a 9 by 4 inch red piece of cardstock to the bottom right corner for the large rainbow pieces. Be sure to use a brayer to really adhere each piece to the mat. And then load and press the flash and go button to cut. The pen can stay in the clamp even though we're not using it for this mat. When the cut is complete, unload your machine mat, flip it over onto your work surface, and roll it back to release the cardstock easily. This next mat uses plain cardstock too, so I'll use the same settings as before, the medium cardstock setting with more pressure. And then use your screen as a reference and add your cardstock to the right areas of the mat, matching the color that you know that they should be and then brayer them down well so they're really stuck, and then follow the prompts to load, draw, and cut. When removing the cardstock from the mat, remember to remove the pull tab piece carefully so it doesn't tear away. And then last is the green mat. I'm using glitter cardstock for this one, so I'll use the glitter cardstock setting with more pressure. I'll place my glitter cardstock face up on the mat, 
and then use a brayer to make sure it's really adhered well, fully, and evenly. And then follow the prompts to load and cut. After you unload the mat, use a spatula to help remove delicate areas like the cutout words from the mat. And remember to set your pieces aside the same way they were on the mat to make assembly easier. I cut some extras that have handwritten messages to show you how they all come together too. Step four, assemble your pull tab gift tags. If you didn't have a machine, add your messages by, you know, like using the pen in your Cricut. Add them by hand now within the L marks on your tags. And then keeping each style shut is a bit different, so here's my tips. For the emoji tag, you'll want to apply a thin layer of glue around the inside of the gift tag on the message side, but don't get any glue in the pull tab or writing area and then close the tag and hold it for a few seconds while the glue sets. Glue the eyes to the front, then add the pull tab to the end of the zipper section. All done. For the rainbow tag, glue the cloud piece shut like the smiley face, and then add glue to the back of the orange piece and glue it on the red section in the center. Then add the yellow on top using the hearts to align it. Finally, apply some glue to the bottom of the arches and attach the cloud on top. For the rectangle tag, see, now why did we flip this one? Cutting glitter side down will leave a mess behind on your mat, so it really makes a difference. But since we flipped the tag horizontally before cutting, the front letters are correct. Glitter is where it should be, and there's white space on the inside to add our message. So write your message by hand on the blank side before ungluing it shut like the others. For the snowflake tag, you'll want to put your message inside. So put your message inside first and then glue the front piece shut, avoiding the pull tab and the writing. Apply some glue to the back of the front piece and then press it onto the center of the large back snowflake. How pretty and so easy. For the gift card tag, it, this one looks just like the rectangle tag, but instead of a spot for a message, it has nifty slots to insert a gift card. You don't need to flip this one because it's designed to work best with one-sided paper. Place the gift card tag face down and insert the corners of the gift card into the slots. Apply some glue around the edges only. This will prevent any glue from touching the gift card. Now fold it closed so the glitter is on the outside. Hold it until the glue dries. When you're ready to share your gift, hand it to the recipient so they can pull the tab to reveal the gift card. For the Santa tag, you'll wanna put your message inside and then add glue to the edges of the main piece, avoiding the pull tab and the writing. Fold it shut and place it face up so the smaller section is on the bottom. Then add the red hat piece to the front so it's centered. For finishing the tags, this is really easy. All you really need to do is cut a piece of twine or ribbon about four to five inches long, and then simply string the twine through the hole of the gift tag and secure it with a knot. Step five, show it off. Here are what my personalized pull tab gift tags look like. Say that five times fast. <laughs> and as promised, let's do the big reveal. How cute is that? <laughs> These are just the best gift tags. Now there'll be no more snooping under the tree for whose gift is whose. I especially love these for secret Santa gifts too. And after the gift is open, the tag reveals who it's from, right? And weren't these just so easy and fun to make? I love making them for our gifts. I think they're so much fun for gift giving and receiving. It's just more exciting, right? <laughs> I love to make them for my own things. We use them for Merry Maker Mingle too. My pull tab gift tags are sure to be a hit with your lucky gift recipients this year. And if you want more projects to level up your gift wrapping, I have more fun ideas in my annual countdown to Christmas, the Merry Maker Mingle. Sign up free at merrymakermingle.com for free projects, tutorials, designs, and all the details you need to craft a beautiful Christmas this year. 
If you have any questions about working with cardstock, your Cricut machine, or anything else Cricut or craft related that you think I could help you with, please let me know. You can leave your question below this video, or better yet, come ask in our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. And please come share photos of your gift tags too. Posting photos lets you show off your awesome creations, of course, but most importantly, it inspires others to make them too. And that's it for today. Until tomorrow, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.